White House mall about to get their butt kicked what leaked private pics of Kellyanne showed, warning, literally nothing in this article has been verified yet. This is simply a report on what has been put out there on the internet. We are not verifying this, but only reporting on it. Do not report this as verified or true until it is revealed to be so. Also, don't act like you're Brian Williams and say things like I would know. I was there. Apparently there's a funny Twitter account that targets Kellyanne Conway and it posted several pictures of her, up close, talking to people, mocking others, and doing what everyone in politics probably does behind each other's back. You'd say she was probably just acting normal, but since this isn't something we usually see leaked from Washington, then it seems like unruly and unprofessional behavior. Nope. Just another day in government for America. If any of these conversations are revealed to be true, then President Trump may want to reevaluate who he picks to serve under him. Or maybe not. Seems like this could be right up his wheelhouse, WTF does that even mean. Kellyanne Conway has been caught at a glitzy Washington, D.C. party allegedly dishing the dirt on her fellow Team Trump colleagues. The 50-year-old was outed on a dedicated Twitter account at Kellyanne Leaks, in real time as she went after Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, Legislative Affairs Director Mark Short, and others during a party on Thursday night. Kellyanne was at an embassy party last night, leaking sensitive Priebus and Trump White House conversations to add Washington Post reporters, the first tweet read. We can't verify if this is true or not, yet. That account could be ran by anyone and they could literally say anything they want. The pictures could be posted by reporters as just a normal picture with literally no context or background on any conversations taking place. The commentary provided on the alleged conversations could be in jest. She had a good slash cruel riff mocking at Ryan's 45 and WH staff meetings. No leaks killers, she said. Mimicking him in a dopey voice, Conway was heard saying, according to the alleged insider. He should just be honest, I'm upset because there's someone working on a story who pronounces it Reigns instead of Ryan's dot. That's actually hilarious. Imagine hearing her use a cringed voice to say no leaks gillias. Right after that she puts her foot on White House couch and liberals lose their minds. They would have content for at least two weeks until someone else put their foot on a couch. If she was mimicking him, then I'd laugh at it. You know darn right these people in our government act just the same way we do when we gather and possibly have a drink or two at a party. That's when the real Slim Shady stands up and people see our true colors. You can't go to work and not have at least one person you crack jokes on. If you do, then either you work at the best place on earth or you have no sense of humor. Either of those are fine, but just remember... The people in government are human and if they mock each other in private, then there's nothing wrong with that. The next tweet included a picture of Conway with her head in her hands, seemingly embarrassed. The image was accompanied by a caption, before some WHO folks joined her, she was talking about recent weeks in the WH to some other party guests. This expression was telling. No no no. How do we know what she was doing? This could literally be anything. Maybe she had a headache. Maybe she is not embarrassed in the picture. What if she sneezed and covered up? What if she was imitating someone or saying a joke? What if the person taking the photo asked a stupid question and she wanted to ruin his next picture? You simply can't assume what her hand gestures mean. Conway then broadened her alleged attack, according to the Twitter account, while chatting it up with some reporters. So at Kellyanne Poles held court for a while. Along with knocking at Ryan's 45, she also made jokes about the ineffectiveness of his RNC world, a tweet read. At one point at Kellyanne Paul said honestly, what the F does Mark Short do all day? That's also hilarious. There's usually one person at every job who you can safely say this about. I think the same thing about her. What does she do every day? I literally have no clue what any of these folks do. I know most people know at least one person in their life that they wonder the same question about. It's not a bad thing. Some people just don't have much of an impact or much responsibility. 
Keep in mind that we are not verifying that this conversation happened or Conley ever said these things, but if she did, then I see nothing wrong with it. It's human nature and perfectly natural to trash your co-workers once in a while. The account's final tweet read, I should mention that at Kellyanne Pulse was probably talking opera to Robert Costa, at Dan Baltz, and at Philip Brucker but loudly, at a DC party. We'll wait to see what happens next with this information. We don't want to jump to a conclusion without further information. That's something a liberal would do. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.